everybody, it's Cynthia Porter with Visit Winona. Ed Hoffman is running the camera, and we are spending a beautiful Sunday afternoon on uh, the very far east end of town. We are at Tasty Apple. I'm going to find somebody to tell me how it's pronounced. It looks like that. Magda Jabnev, whatever that is. It's Polish. Um, I don't speak Polish. I'm not Polish, but I'm loving this festival. It happens every year on the first Saturday in October, and it's basically our Polish community in Winona, which is surprisingly large, comes together to celebrate the apple harvest and also celebrate each other, their heritage, their crafts, their artisans, and it is just a blast. So we're, we're down the alley a little bit from the back part of the festival because you can hear a band is really kicked up down there and uh, you could not get a more beautiful day in Winona than this day for this festival's about, I don't know, 68 degrees or something like that. It's perfect. And the place is packed. So I'm just going to warn you right now, it's loud there, it's loud inside, not so loud in front, um, but we're going to just take a cruise through. I'll try to tell you a little bit about what I know about it um, and give you a good look at what this crazy festival is all about. Um, Starting with this little apple truck right here. They've got apples from the different orchards owned by, I think, a lot of Polish families. There's some free apples here. Probably gonna grab one of those before I leave. But inside is an apple pies, an apple this, an apple that, but also a lot of other Polish foods uh, of all different sorts. There's a pretty long line right now to get at the food, so we'll just kind of take a peek at it. We're not gonna try to eat it. But it's all uh, very, very ethnic. Polish recipes made by Polish people and uh, uh, there's like a, a children's train coming towards us and we got <laughs> he's towing a couple of barrels you'll see in one second it's gonna come by it's a little noisy sorry about that maybe we can get a ride in this Kidding. I'm not gonna get a ride in that because I would be sitting on top of it like that kid but my luck I would just fall off of it and it would run over me and, and this festival would take on a really negative um, tone from that moment so uh, okay the Polish community in Winona they started to migrate here before the turn of the century before 1900 um, it was a lot of uh, workers and I'm not sure how originally they found Winona but the thing about it is that it looks very much like the region they came from in Poland. It's the Kashubian region, specifically in Poland. It's a really small area, and it's done uh, it's done geographically very much like this space with rolling hills and green and rivers and lakes and forests. And so they saw this place and said, we are home. And so then they came, and more came, and more came. I believe that this is one of the largest Kashubian settlements of Polish people in the United States. Uh, we have a Polish heritage um, Polish Cultural and Heritage Museum here in town that has a collection. Uh, we did a Facebook Live from there a long time ago where we looked a little bit at the incredible donations that people have made to preserve their memory in this museum. I think we'll go back and do another uh, Facebook Live there sometime because it's really great and it's, and it's beautiful. I mean, I imagine if you're like me, you probably don't know a lot about Poland and I really didn't but the, the craftsmanship, the artisan, the artisan work of their pottery and their stitching, it's just magnificent. And so uh, it's their music. This is, I think, this is not polka music. They were playing a little bit earlier. There are gonna be people polka dancing. Inside right now, I think are some Polish cultural dancers. They're wearing beautiful costumes. Oh, sorry. Um, so I don't know if you can hear me right now. But, Let's have a look at it. So over here, oh let's go talk to Tim Breeza. He's one of our one of our like Polish heroes in town. Hang on. Okay. Okay, so we're doing Facebook Live for Visit Winona, and we're just coming to ask you what's going on right now. What are you doing here? Selling t-shirts? Oh my gosh, you're right now. You're at Smaczny Apka, the Polish Apple Say Festival. Say it again. Smaczny Apka. Polish <laughs> Apple Festival. And we're having fun here in, on the Polish East Side. And we're gathering together once a year on Sunday 
first Sunday in October to uh, enjoy Polish food, Polish uh, uh, beer, of course. And, uh, we have Polish dance. We have everything Polish. We enjoy it. And you can see the turnout that we have. It, it's great. And, you know, this is a, a whole lot better than last year. Last year we had rain. You can see the clear skies today. But there's also a secret out there I just want to mention that next year we're going to celebrate our Polish heritage well uh, all year long. We have 30 some events that we're celebrating and uh, how can we say that? We're going to have Polish fun 30 times next year. I can't wait! What are they doing behind us? We had some pretzels, they're gone. And, but they're squeezing apples, so you got some apple juice. Apple juice. Yeah, but you know we have poly sausage inside and the cabbage roll, and of course there's some punchki for people like myself. A punchki is a, a jelly donut, and you can tell how much I like those. If I stood up, you would be able to see that. But um, we have a lot of food, and there's some Polish beer uh, just down there, a booth or two. Nice. Thank you. Okay, Tim Breeze, everybody. He's a Polish, he's a Polish. I'm getting something. I'm getting something. Hang on. Oh, oh this for is, the centennial. This is next year. Yes, I'm, I'm going to talk about this. I've been reading about this. I'll come back. I will. We're, we're going to talk about it. Okay, so next year it's um, the Kashubian Centennial. And so they are going to celebrate. I saw their I saw their plan. It is 30 events of all different kinds of um, natures, from music to art. They're having visitors come. They're they're trying to bring over. We have a sister city in Poland. It's in uh, it's in the Kashubian region of Poland. It's called Bitaf, and Bitaf. Um, is where a lot of the people who settled in Winona came from, that area right around Bitop. What you'll find in Winona with the Polish community is that a great many of these people are related to each other distantly, um, and uh, more came and more came and more came. And so their story is told. This, what we're in right now, is the annex. And the annex was built um, about two doors down from the Polish Cultural Heritage Museum. and. That museum has all of the artifacts that have been donated. On the wall, all the way around this room, is the story of the Kashubian people once they came here. And actually, before they came here, this is such a fun place to walk around and just read. Like, if you are wondering what is this culture about, and what are these people about, and who are the people who came here, and why, it's told in beautiful murals that are up all the way around this room on the wall. So here we are. I think these are the I think these are the donuts he was talking about, which I'm going to avoid. Um, there's also pies. Look at this. Show them the pies. Ed. So I was talking to the gal a minute ago, and there's um, these are coffee cakes. They have like poppy seed and nut and fruit. I forgot what kind. Um, and then also all different kinds of apple pies. So people can buy tickets um, for the different food thing and they can get ice cream with the pie and uh, and sit down at one of these tables and eat and visit and probably speak Polish. I think there's a little Polish going on in this room. I saw Father Brisa. If you, if you recall, Spooky's friend, what is this? Hmm. So I saw Father Brisa sitting over here. Um, he's the one who we talked to when we went to the Polish Cultural Heritage Museum. I'm, I might be mixing up all of the different words of that, but that's what it is. It's a museum and it's all about the cultural heritage of the Polish people here. Father Brisa is really kind of the, the, uh, the, the head of that whole operation. He has been a champion for the Polish community in this city for decades, many decades. Um, I hear that he also has a tie-in to some apple farms and so might be responsible for some of the apples showing up in this room right now. But My mouth is watering for turtle soup. But uh, he does a great job. Hi. So there were some dancers that were going to stop in 
Oh, look, there's all this different food people can go along and try. I'm not going to eat right now in front of you, but I'm probably going to try some of it because why not, right? Um, oh, there's some Polish dancers that are going to start. Come here. Also, going down the whole middle of this room is a huge silent auction. The silent auction has got donations from all over town. In this program, I'm just going to show you. In this program, it shows all of the people who donated to the silent auction. Look at this. Because people love the Polish community and they love this festival. And so there's really great stuff. Everything from like little simple pieces of art that are very cute, folksy, to big baskets of wine and uh, Polish beer, all kinds of stuff. Okay, oh, the Polish dancers. I'm going to stop talking and let you watch these dancers for just a minute. in here and watch some more of this. I'm going to take some photos because this is beautiful, right? Look at their costumes. They are just so intricate and they're handmade. You can't go buy these at the store. These have been made according to probably hundreds of years of tradition. Ed and I are going to go outside in the front and have a look at the outside of this building. And uh, I'll tell you a little bit more about what I know about this space. So. This building right here is not open all the time. Um, you do need to kind of watch for, oh, here comes, <laughs> here comes the train again with the little buckets in it. Oh, but this time it's got kids in it here. We'll let Ed, <laughs> I won't talk when it's coming by because it's really being towed by like a, a yard owl or something. Okay, here's the train, here we'll wave at the kids. We got one wave and a lot of this. <laughs> um, okay, so anytime you drive up and down, right now we're on 2nd Street on the east end of town. Anytime you drive up and down this street, though, you are going to pass by the front of the annex here. Let's we'll turn in and give them a look at what it looks like because sitting out here, whenever there's apples in season at all, there's a self-serve apple table. You put some money in the box and you can take some apples. And I mean, that's trust, right? Who would steal from the Polish? Nobody. So, uh, any time of the year, that, you can see two doors down, there's the Polish Museum. And that is open. I think it's open now every day. Um, and we have people who have come from Chicago, who, they have, a, they have a Polish museum there, who have come and just been absolutely blown away by this museum because it is uh, so much more complete than any other collection of Polish goods that most people have ever come across. Because um, the people here, it's such a close-knit community that they, that they care so much about it that the things that have been donated in there are treasures, they're family treasures that um, people, rather than pass them down to their kids and see them go into an attic or a basement somewhere, they've given them to this museum. And so it's been preserved for a lot of other people over the years to come in and celebrate. 
I saw a lot of kids running around in there uh, in the, those really um, traditional dresses too because it's something that I think this community especially infuses also into their, their youngsters that are coming up, this pride in their Polish heritage. And uh, it's a kind of a beautiful thing to be around and to, and to watch the people celebrating this and eating all the different kinds of food, most of it stuff you've never heard of before. Um, I saw that there was, I think it was like a duck blood soup or something like that. I might not try that one, but um, also, you know, Polish sausages. Who made those? The Polish people, of course. And so, um, so it's just really a fun look inside of a culture right here in Winona. It's the first weekend of October every year, and next year is going to be massive because of this, their 2020 celebration that is going to go on all year long. It's going to be huge, and so if you are curious about Poland, if you're Polish, uh, or if you just like a good party, this is the place to be, um, especially next year. Put it on your calendar. Every week we go wherever you tell us to go. This week we're at, oh no, Smacks and Diabla. He, he told me how to say it and now it's gone from my brain completely. Um, but uh, next week we'll go somewhere else. Wherever you vote for is what we're gonna do. And uh, we got beautiful fall weather today. I see it's gonna continue on for the next week. I'm excited to see where we're gonna go. And um, until then, you all have a great week. Thanks for coming with us.